Hi everyone, I'm Daniel at QNAP and I'm here to talk about Notification Center. Notification Center is an app that runs on your QNAP that allows you to centrally manage all of your notifications. You can get notifications through email, text, instant messenger, or push service through our client app. And something that's really good about Notification Center is you have a very high degree of control over exactly what notifications you want to receive without getting a whole bunch of notifications that you don't want to receive. So before Notification Center, we did have the ability to send automatic notifications. But there are some pain points that our, our users were facing, and we made a Notification Center to address uh, those difficulties. So one issue was that uh, before Notification Center, it used to take a, a long time to set up all your notifications. You used to set them up like one app at a time. Set them for this app, then that app, then that app. So it would take a long time also at, at making adjustments or looking over your settings. It was just tedious. Another issue is that there did not used to be um, as easy of a way to uh, verify that your notifications were actually working. So customers might think they had notifications set up and then at a later, later date realize they were not getting their notifications. Another issue was that uh, notifications used to come uh, usually through emails. And a lot of people, myself included, do not like getting lots of emails. I would much rather get notifications through uh, instant messenger, text, or something like that. Also, we wanted to add uh, more accessibility with Notification Center, so we uh, have supported more languages. And then this fifth, the, the number five, I think, is a big one. Uh, customers were getting too many notifications, and they were asking, can I only receive the important information that I want? I think this is big because um, I've noticed for myself that if I get lots of notifications, Maybe for a few days, I'll pay attention to those notifications, but after a while, I start just ignoring my notifications, and they're not effective anymore if I get too many. So with Notification Center, you have a very high degree of control to get the specific notifications you want to get without getting a whole bunch of extra notifications. So Notification Center, from one interface, lets you manage everything. So this is what it looks like here. And this is what it looked like in the past. In the past, you would configure notifications for each application individually. So this application, then that application, then that application. Not only did it take a long time to set up, but also um, if you wanted to look over your settings, make sure things were set the way you wanted, you'd have to go to each app individually. So a lot to set up, a lot of time to manage. But with a new system, you can set up, you can manage from one location, and you can also verify that everything's working properly from the same uh, location. So it's a lot more convenient and you have a lot more control. Within notifications, the way you set up notifications for, the way you set up all your notifications is you just make a few rules. For a rule, you choose uh, the method you send them the notification, and you could have multiple methods, so email, instant messenger, whatever. Uh, you set the criteria for notifications warning, error, or disinformation, and you choose the apps you want to get notifications for, but not just the apps, but the specific app-related events. So you might say with this app, if this happens, I want to be notified. If this other thing happens, I don't need to be notified. So you can get very specific. And there's even ways to get more specific than that, but I'll, I'll go into that later. And then um, we've also made a way for you to turn on and off notifications for a specific app and a specific service. So maybe I decide that in Container Station, I don't ever want an email notification for Container Station. So maybe I could turn off email notifications for Container Station. Just another way to get, to get more control uh, to make sure that you're not getting too many notifications. So um, something else we've also done to help you not get too many notifications is we made a way to make a very highly specific notification based off our system logs. So from within Notification Center, we have, we have the logs, and you can click on a specific log and make either an event notification rule or an alert notification rule. And what this will do is it will set up uh, a rule that's very specifically related to that specific system log that you clicked on. So this is a, a highly specific, highly controlled notification, and you can set it up very automatically. Click on the system log and then click uh, event notification rule or alert notification rule. 
So for event notification, select the notification event you want to receive based on the category of the application or feature. For alert notification, you select the notification log you want to receive based off the severity of the system log. So the difference uh, basically is that event notification, it brings up the app or feature re related uh, to that system log and it applies a rule uh, based off that um, application or feature. Alert notification is not app-based or feature-based, it's only log-based, so it'll just set up an alert notification based off that system log. Both of these really are based off of the system log, but uh, event notification ties that to an app uh, or a feature, uh, but they can accomplish a similar purpose. I'll demo this later so you'll see more the difference. So um, this is about adding to your rule or making a custom rule. So let's talk about rules. Um, you can manually set up your rules or you can automatically set up a rule based off a system log. And when you are in the rule, you can choose notification criteria. So you can choose information, warning, error. Now if you click information, you might find you're getting too many notifications unless you have uh, keywords to, to limit the scope. Uh, you can choose keywords. So in this case, um, it only sends the notification if the word RAID and snapshot are in the are in the notification system log. And so to go up here again, when you create an event notification, essentially what it's doing is it's taking the words in the system log and it's putting those words here. So you could just manually enter those words, but uh, but this is a way to automatically enter the words from the system logs right here. So it only sends you a notification if all the words in the system logs are present. So basically you'll get another notification if you get the same system log again. Or when you manually set it up, you can choose more, more general keywords to make a more general rule, uh, but still a rule that limits how many notifications you get. So for keywords, you can choose include or exclude. So you can write words to say exclude notification if it has this word. You can also set time. And what that's for is, let's say in your business, from time to time, someone might SSH into a NAS. But uh, maybe if someone SSH is in at midnight, you want to know about that. So there are certain, certain cases where you might care what time something happens. So you can say only to notify me if this happens at this time. So besides um, giving you a very high degree of control over exactly what notifications you want to get, we also really wanted to address reliability. What can we do to make this more reliable? And the way we do that is we make an easy way to verify that your messages are actually being sent. They're actually working. So one way is you send a, a test message to yourself and then you just verify, did I actually receive that test message? The other way, is we have a history of messages sent, and for each message it should say successfully sent. But if it doesn't say successfully sent for a message, you know it was not successfully sent. And then something else we have done uh, to improve reliability is you can set multiple ways to send the message, multiple ways to receive the message. So if you're getting messages through both text and instant messenger, if one of those delivery methods were to fail for any reason, you could get it with the other method. So this adds redundancy to improve reliability. So you can set up messages through email, text, instant message, or push service uh, through our client app. Setting this up is pretty easy. You just choose the messaging service you want to use. Um, you add QBot as your contact, and you enter the verification code in the QBot uh, dialog box to complete the pairing. For text messaging, uh, we support Twilio, Clickatel, and Nexamo so to, to allow you to send those text messages. And uh, setting up um, how you send through text, um, email, whatever, is pretty easy. Uh, it, you do it when you configure your rule, the rule I was talking about earlier. So now instead of talking about criteria, you can click on methods and recipients. So for a rule, you click here, 
then you can add a pair. So you can add email, um, you could add text, Facebook Messenger, and you can have multiples so that you have redundancy if for whatever reason one way were to fail. There's no need to manually input the recipients. Um, you can quickly select from NAS contacts, email and phone, so there's, you can just sort of automatically uh, get that information. We just made it easy. Uh, the number of recipients is no longer limited, so as many people as you want can receive these notifications. Now besides having a lot of control so you don't get too many notifications, and besides addressing reliability, we also wanted to increase accessibility. So we have um, added more languages supported. We have over 3,000 notification messages supported in 23 languages, integrated um, over 100 applications. So uh, let's demo this. This is the Notification Center. And the first thing I want to point out is here. You can see the successfully sent notifications and you can see the unable to send notifications. So if everything's working correctly, the unable to send should be zero. But if ever this is not zero, then go to your history. And over here, you see the message successful, successful. If something's not successful, you just find where it's not successful and you can see what you missed. From here, you can also see how the messages were sent. So I get most of my messages through instant messaging, but I have some sent through push service. This is the uh, system logs. So here is where you could uh, set a highly uh, customized a log if you want. Um, so from here, let's say I, I saw this message here. Let's say I want to say next time I get a message just like this one, I want, I want to know. So this is just a highly specific specific method saying I want to know next time this exact thing happens. I can create an event notification notification rule or an alert notification rule. So for event, I'm going to choose add to existing rule. And now since this was for uh, storage and snapshots, it loads up the feature storage and snapshots. If it was for an app, it would load up the app. By default, um, everything related to that app or feature is checked, but you could uncheck some if you want. And then if you look under criteria, all the words, all, all the words from the system log are now copied into the keyword filter. So it only sends the message if all of these words are present. So basically this sends a message if the same exact system log comes. So this is very specific. So you're not going to get too many messages because it's very specific. It's just saying, tell me if this exact thing happens. And so you could automatically create a new rule or you can uh, add to your existing rule. And you can adjust things like information warning error, but in this case, I just have everything checked because it's very specific already. You could also choose create alert notification. Now this is a bit different. Notice it didn't uh, bring up the storage and snapshot feature. This is not feature related. This is not app related. It's only uh, related to the log. So in this case, it, it says if there's information um, with a log having the exact same words, having, I should say, all these words from this system log, then send an information message. Also by default, warning and error is checked and it doesn't have any keyword filter. So um, it, you might get a message even if it does not have these keywords by default. So in a lot of cases you might choose to uncheck warning and error and just get information when you have all these keywords, but it's up to you. It depends what you want to do. And this is a way to, to make a rule automatically that has all the keywords from your system log. So let's talk more about rules. For a rule, uh, you choose delivery method. So I have Facebook Messenger and push service. And you choose which apps and features you want notifications for, but not just which app and feature, but which specific app related event or which specific feature related event. So, so you might say, well, if this happens, I wanna know, but if this happens, I don't need a message. You can get very specific here. 
you set criteria. So in my case, I choose warning and error because if I choose information, I might get too many messages. I could add the keyword filter if I want to. So I just want, want, want to mention here that everything that I that I did um, over here, so I should, over here with the create event notification or alert notification, everything I did here, I could do the same thing manually here. I could just manually enter all the same words from that system log and then make a rule that's just as specific to that system log. But, you know, it could be tedious to write all those words in and also what if you type something wrong? So this was a way to automatically do it in a way that's easier, but uh, manually you can do whatever you want with the keywords. Now for methods and recipients, I've chosen Facebook and uh, push service to my phone with the client app and adding a pair is really, really easy. So more in rules, you could have more than one and an event, and so I have two and here's why. I wanted a second rule where the criteria was information. And I wanted a second rule because a second rule, I only want to apply it to very few things. So if an app is installed, I want that information. And if someone SSHs into my NAS, I want to know. So here we go. I have I get information for SSH or Telnet. So I'm very selective. I, there's very few things I want information on, which is why I did not apply information to the first rule. So I have one rule with just warning and error applied to more features and more apps. And then a the second rule where it's information, but applied to very few things. And this way I get the specific information that I want to get. So this gives you uh, just, with just a few uh, rules. You can set up all the no notifications you want, and um, you can get even more specific in a very automatic way from the system logs. So you have a very high degree of control, get uh, the no notifications you want without getting notifications you don't want. One more thing I'll point out here is the, the global settings. So here's where you can enable or disable uh, notifications for a specific app on a specific service. So as you see, email is just disabled, period. I don't like getting notifications through email, so this just makes sure I won't get any email notifications. Um, I much prefer instant message, push service, uh, or text, but I just haven't set up text. So I like instant message. So very high degree of control, very easy, and this just makes uh, Notification Center very convenient, very reliable, because you can easily see if something's not working, you can send text me test messages, so you have so much control in such an easy way. So um, this really makes Notification Center very convenient, a very good tool. Um, five of the main features um, that I've been talking about are centralized settings, so that from one interface, you can just control everything and make sure everything's working. We support multiple transmission methods uh, for convenience, but also for redundancy to make sure you get those messages. Um, highly flexible rule setting so that you don't get a bunch of notifications you don't want. You can really control exactly what you want to be notified about. Double insurance, basically you can verify that your notifications are working. And we have multiple uh, languages supported for ease of accessibility. So all this makes Notification Center a very big upgrade uh, from our previous uh, system. I would say if the only thing we upgraded was being able to highly control what you get so you don't get too many notifications, just that would make this a huge upgrade. But we've done much more besides. So I hope you're able to make good use out of Notification Center. Thank you for watching. I'll be here to answer a, a few questions. Uh, so please feel free to ask.